What's up guys, this is Noc V. Today I'm going to be showing you this cool new synth plugin that I've been hearing a ton about online. Of course, this is Killheart's Phase Plant. So this synth is a modular synth in that you can use modules as you need them. The modules come in three different types represented in the three different panels here. Generators, effects, and modulators. Generators create sounds, so things like oscillators, wavetables, samples, and noise. Modulators is where you can add LFOs and extra envelopes. And then on the right, you have three different effects lanes that you can route your generators to. Faceplant gives you access to the entire library of kilohertz effects. So in addition to the basic delay, reverb, saturation, and the like, you can add things like disperser, faturator, resonator, formant filter, the list goes on. By default, there are no modules loaded. So to get a basic saw wave, all you have to do is add an analog generator and set it to saw. If you want to add an LFO to modulate the pitch, you can click here to add an LFO and then click on the output to map it to the pitch parameter. Then drag this to change the modulation amount. By default, when you add your first generator, an output gets created that maps the generator's output to effects lane 1. So to add some reverb, just add a reverb effect to lane one. As you can see, the modularity of this synth gives you a lot of power over every aspect of your sound. So let's see how that translates to hardcore. I've made three patches that represent core staples in modern UK hardcore a lead, chords, and a bass. So let's have a listen to them individually. Now let's hear that all together now. It's a little bit rough, but it's getting there. Now I am incredibly impressed by this plugin and its capabilities. Honestly, this is a game changer and I'm really looking forward to spending the next few weeks seeing what I can make this thing do. A lot of people have been calling Phase Plant a serum killer. Now I'm not ready to make such an outrageous claim quite yet and serum will always hold a special place in my heart. I will admit, however, that Phase Plant is incredibly promising. Something about the modularity, customizability, and flow of Phase Plant really fits in with the way that I think. So far, I've had more fun doing sound design in Phase Plant than I've had in any other plugin, hands down. Personally, I'm not a fan of dropping large amounts of money on plugins that I'm not 100% sure I'm going to get good use out of. However, Phase Plant doesn't exactly have a rent to own system like Serum and a few others. They have a $10 a month subscription where, after every 12 months, they give you a $100 gift code. So, while this isn't necessarily rent to own, it kind of is. Not to mention the fact that they do have a trial period so you can still try Faceplant for free before even dropping $10 on a subscription if you are so inclined. For me, I think I'll be sticking it out and adding Faceplant to my list of go-to synths for creating these awesome hardcore sounds. I hope you enjoyed checking out Faceplant with me. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, be sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you want to support me in the stuff that I do, be sure to check out my Patreon, link is in the description. I also have a Discord server too, so if you want to come hang out with us and talk music, come join up. Link is in the description for that too. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one.